Hey, what's up guys? This is Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Google's Home Mini. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. So to get this started, you need to have a few things ready to go. You're going to have to have a Gmail account or go ahead and create a new one when you do the setup wizard. Two, you're going to need a smartphone. For example, I have an iPhone here, Samsung, and also you can set it up on tablets as well. And the third thing you need is a Wi-Fi connection so you can download information and get it ready to go. Plus it uses Wi-Fi to send uh, information and grab new information from the web. So now let me show you what the Google's Mini comes with. So now you have the unit here and this is available in three different colors. You have the charcoal, which I have here, a white one, and you also have a coral one. As we pull this out of the box, you have a let's get started guide, kind of walks you through how to get everything ready and go. And you have a power supply with the power brick. On the bottom, you have this non-grip surface. So you can see it really grips on. You also have the microphone switch right there where you can turn it off or turn it on. The mic's back on. And then you have the power cord right there. Now you know what it comes with. Let's go ahead and plug it in and get it ready to download the Google's app to program it so we can get it all started and ready to go. First thing you would do is go ahead and plug it in and you'll see the lights starting to work right there. Now mind you on the side here, there's a microphone mute button. Make sure that's in the on position where it's not showing the orange. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. So what you want to do is go into your Android App Store or your Apple App Store, and then you want to search for Google's Home. Then press on the Install button and wait to it to load up. Once it loads up, go ahead and press on it, and it's going to walk you through the setup guide. Hit Get Started and choose your uh, email account. Now that it's looking for devices, it should be able to find this uh, Google's Home. Then hit next. And these lights turn blue as it connects. Now it's asking you, did you hear a sound? If you did, go ahead and hit yes. If not, you can press try again. Tell it where your device is going to be. So I'll choose just office and then hit next. Now you can choose your Wi-Fi. It does support your 2.4 and also your 5 gigahertz. Hit next and now enter your password. Once your Wi-Fi password is entered, go ahead and hit connect and give it a couple of minutes to go ahead and connect to that Wi-Fi. And now it's connected. The next part is gonna ask you just uh, stuff about your privacy. If you're okay with everything, go ahead and hit next. And then this is where you can teach it your voice so you can understand. For yes, I'm in. And now it's gonna get access to your microphone. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. And now it's completing the setup. Then hit continue. And this is where you can change the voice. So let me give you an example of that. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. Or you can use a man's voice. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. So I'm gonna choose voice number one, hit next. And now this is where you can give it access to where your location is. The reason you would use this, if you have any kind of smart devices, you can program it to uh, know where you're when you're coming home. Also, it uses it to find like directions and uh, local businesses. After you enter your address, hit next. And this is where it can use the Chromecast to activate your Netflix. Now, I will do this later in another video, but I'm gonna go ahead and bypass that for now. Here's where you can add a payment method. Hi, hey. I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. So here's some examples of what you can do. Okay, Google. How do you say nice to meet you in Korean? 만나서 반갑습니다. Here you can sign up for the newsletter so they'll send you emails to let you know what's going on. But you don't have to do that. You can hit not now. 
And then here's your main layout screen. Now that I showed you how to set it up, let's do some voice commands to see how accurate it is. Okay, Google. How far is it to Las Vegas? You are 329 miles away from Las Vegas by car. Okay, Google. When's the next Dallas Cowboys game? The Cowboys' next game is today at 5.25 p.m., where they will play the Redskins. Okay, Google. What's my name? Your name is Tech. Okay, Google. Call me Steven. You'd like me to call you Steven. Is that right? Yes. Okay, got it. Okay, Google. Set a reminder for tomorrow. What's the reminder? Film a YouTube video. Your reminder tell me YouTube video for tomorrow at 8 a.m. is ready. Do you want to save it? No. What do you want to change? Cancel. Okay, it's canceled. Now, you also with the Google, you can ask it questions and you can also build off that same question without to ask it again. So let me give you an example. Okay, Google. Who is Kobe Bryant? According to Wikipedia, Kobe Bean Bryant is an American retired professional basketball player and businessman. Okay, Google. How tall is he? He's six feet six inches tall. Okay, Google. Where is he from? Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. As you can see, you can kind of build off of your different commands, which is pretty cool. So now let me show you how to connect it as a Bluetooth speakers so you can play your iTunes music or anything from your phone for sound. The first thing you want to do is go into your settings, click on Bluetooth, and then say, OK, Google, pair. All right. To connect, open Bluetooth settings and look for the device called Office Speaker. There's Office Speaker. Press on it. And now it's connected. Now that I got the Bluetooth connected, let's take a listen to see what it sounds like. And there's a cool little trick for the volume control. Let me show you. From the speaker, if you tap the sides, you can turn the volume up. And just tap it to turn it down. Let's test out the 360 degree sound. Now the last thing I'm going to show you guys is how you can factory reset it just in case you need to do it. On the back side here, there's a little hidden button right there. If you press and hold it, listen to what it says. You're about to completely reset Google Home. To cancel, release the button. And what it's doing is actually has a timer and it's going to reset it back to factory. When you hear that chime, it has did a factory reset. So now you'll have to go back to the setup menu to get everything ready to go again. And you're gonna use that, you know, for uh, when you wanna sell it and things like that. So here's my takeaway. I really like the original home because you have this little touch for the volume. You can also pause it. Additionally, you have the mic mute right there. The speaker system is pretty good. So you have this nice little bass design here. But overall, this guy is a really nice design. Only thing I wish it had is an auxiliary output so you can run it to bigger speakers, kinda of like what you do with uh, Amazon Echo. Well, another cool thing about this, and I'll come up with another video for you, is that you can control the Chromecast. So you can set up Spotify and all your different adapters and then send it over to the Chromecast to your TV set or if you get the audio version, send it over to a Bluetooth speaker. So there's my video on the Google's Home Adapter. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome Peace. to Google Home.